YouTube, Cooper Sickness here. I'm doing a major renovation of the shop, of the room now. I think I'm gonna be down in this fish room all day long. I got stuff I've been putting off that I need to do that I'm gonna do. Uh, all right, starting with these canister filters and these hang on the back filter, hang on the back filters. I'm taking them all down. I got five canister filters running. I'm taking them down. I got five hang on the back filters running. They coming down. My, they coming down. They coming down. Everything coming down. All five of them. All five of the canister filters. All five of the, the hang on the backs. I'm doing a little bit too much right here. Yeah. All right, getting to my air. Back there in the corner, that is my central air unit. Come from Jimco. Cost me $119. Came with this connection tube right here. And that hooks up to this PV, one inch PVC that I ran all the way around the room. All the way around the room. All the way around the room and connected it made a complete loop with it all the way around the room came all the way back all the way back all the way back up and over bam tied it straight into that T that right there that unit right there let's see let's see if we can get a close-up on it and see what it say that's a good unit. Really good unit. Anyway, it can power more tanks than I have in here, which I'm going to get ready to power these two, four, six fry tanks right there. I'm getting ready to put this, this bar. It's an electrical bar. It's got 15 outlets in it. I'm getting ready to run up over there. I went to Petco. I mean, not Petco. I went to Home Depot. And I got me some wood cut. I'm getting ready to build me today a double 55 gallon stand. Now, I don't know how this is going to go, but this one is coming off of this. This African is coming off of that stand. There's a 55 gallon stand right there. That's coming off of there. And going over there in this corner with this 40 long. This is a 40 long. And these two tanks going to set up on top of those. I measured it, did all the calculations, and it's going right here in this corner. That right there is coming out. That one going down. Them fry are big enough to go into another 55. They going into a 55. I'm going to put the, they are my chanchos. They are going into the community tank. This is going to be primarily, primarily an ampelopus tank with a few oddballs. A couple jacks, jaguars, umbies, <laughs> a little bit of everything. It's going to be a hodgepodge. It's going to be a beautiful tank, though. It's going to be all mostly ampelopus, though. These are ready for sale. They are flower horns. I'm sorry about the glare. Some of them pushing four inches, if you can see. And that right there is going to my man La Feste, the one with the white spot on his head. That is one of my Midas from Crisscross. I got some little bit of everything in here. But uh, I got two Midas in here. I'm sending him. And I'm sending him a fest day. And I'm going to give him a pair of these. Miss Lucille and Mr. Jim. That's Mr. Jim and that's Miss Lucille. They going to Chicago. Miss Lucille and Mr. Jim. Two of my readers' latest. 
I don't know which one of these he want. I got to get in touch with him for, so he can get one of these beautiful fest days here. I got a lot of fest days. I got like 20 fest days in this tank that's growing up. Everybody living in harmony. This is almost primarily ran off of air. This is a 125. And all I got is a 110 on the back of there. But I got two, three air, uh, three filters on there. Yeah. This has a sump on it, and it's got two air filters in it. This is a 150, and the water is crystal clear. This is ran off of air. This is ran off of air. This is primarily ran off of air. I've got two canister filters on this 150 that's coming down. So, that's a, a, all these chanchos are going in the 150. I'm going to put all my fry in here. I done just started putting Midas fry in this. If you can see them back there, I start putting the Midas fry in there because he keep messing with her. He want to mate, so I had to put a divider in there, keep him off of her. He was chasing her all around the tank. I know what that means. He want to mate again. All my fry going in 55s. 55s. This going to stay the same. That tank is coming down. I got Dover in there. They going in there, too. All right, so that's just a little update from the cave. As you can see, I got this the place tore up today. I got up and made my mind up. That's another hang on the back filter. That's got that's out. Anybody in the Philadelphia area, I got five cannons for the filters. One with a UV sterilizer on it. That's that Sun Sun 30 something B or something. And all of them. I got five canister filters and I got hang on the back filters for sale also. Got Aqua Clears 110, all that. Got a nice one right here. That's for sale. That's for sale. All right, y'all. We're going to end this. It's time to take a break. I've been up since 6 o'clock doing this. Yeah. I don't know why my Africans. I just changed the water on this and took their canister filter. That was the canister filter on a 55. Picture that. That's coming down. I also got a canister filter on the Oscar tank upstairs. That's got to come down. So I got six canister filters for sale. All right. From the chef to y'all, man. Have a peaceful Monday and a blessed day. Peace.